Uh, this is Jason Spangler with ScoutPatchCollectors.com and the Tradery Calendar. I've got on the phone here Matt White, who is helping to put on a Tradery coming up this weekend. Uh, Matt, can you tell us about the Old Hickory Tradery? Sure. Uh, we've got our 25th annual Old Hickory Council Tradery coming up this weekend. Uh, where it's, it'll be held in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, at the uh, Hopewell Raving Church on Friday and Saturday night, December 7th and 8th. Friday night, we're starting at 6 p.m., and we usually close doors at 11 or uh, whenever anybody, you know, I'll stay until, you know, the, the trading is finished that night. On Saturday morning, we usually up, up, open up at 9 a.m., and uh, we usually go to about 2 or 3 o'clock, just depending, again, on how the trade is going and, and all that. Um, this year, we've got something sort of new. We're going to do some silent auction items throughout the day. Um, we've got at 1 p or at 12 at noon – we're going to do a, a little live auction of some items we've collected through uh, the Historical Association. We've almost sold out of tables at this point. Um, we've got a few left, so that's a good thing. We've got about 30 different table renters uh, right now, uh, hoping to have somewhere between 50 to 60 tables um, that we can fit inside of uh, the, the facility at Hopewell Moravian Church. You can go online at www.oldhickorycouncil.com slash O-H-C-T-O-R to reserve tables. Of course, every year, uh, our, our tradery, the admission is free. Uh, any scouters in uniform that come out or of scouting age, we, we have a little grab bag uh, program that we do for them. You know, we're looking forward to it. Uh, we've actually, one more thing that we've got new this year, the Historical Association, which is the tradery actually benefits uh, the Old Hickory Council Historical Association, uh, they have made a series of patches, and one of their patches in their set this year uh, is a 25th annual uh, treasuries. We have never done that before, so we're looking forward to that. Uh, we're going to give one to all of our table renters this year, and uh, it's kind of a surprise. They don't even know that yet, and we'll have them for sale um, at the front door. So we're looking forward to that as well. And, Matt, did I read something about uh, pizza on Friday night? Oh yes, yes. Uh, if you have, if you're a table uh, renter, or if you've got, um, uh, or if you're a member of our historical association, uh, uh, we provide free pizza uh, on Friday night. And of course, anybody else that, if you want it, I'll have it for sale um, at the tradery. So we're looking forward to that too. We kind of do this as kind of a social on Friday night. Uh, a little bit of history about our tradery. We used to only do our tradery on Saturday, so it was. You know, everybody came in. We have, you know, seven, eight hours of straight trading. So I, uh, over the past couple of years, we've slowly gotten into a two-day tradery, and it's really been successful. We've had uh, almost as many people uh, attend Friday night as we do Saturday night now. So uh, love, you know, if you, if you don't know that, please come on out Friday night because, you know, all of our vendors will be there and a lot of trading going on. So we're looking forward to it. Matt, how many states are represented? What What's kind of the draw of your tradery? What? Where do you get people to come from? You know, we've got uh, historically, <clears throat> you know, mainly the southern region uh, it has been a big supporter of this one. And we have a, a very strong local, you know, when I mean local, I would say North Carolina uh, has a very strong trading network. And uh, so we, you know, historically, we mainly get those. But we also have a few people from New Hampshire that come down each year. I've had table renters from Texas. I don't have anybody this year, but uh, we do have a couple from New Hampshire, so mainly the East Coast. Um, but, uh, we, you know, we'll welcome anybody and, and, and everybody, anybody that wants a table and come trade and, and swap, and, you know, we're looking forward to it. Well, and I'm looking at the uh, weather forecast, you know, just to kind of tease you, last year when I rolled in on Friday, it was already snow on the ground. That's and, correct. Uh, I don't know, how was it two or three or four inches? Do you remember what we eventually got? Yeah, I mean, overall, it was about two or three inches, and uh, everybody was calling me, wanting to know what I was going to do. We were watching it very closely, and I just, I had, I had already set up all the tables, and and, and so we went ahead and had it. And uh, this year, I think they're looking at Saturday night into Sunday morning. They're calling for some precipitation now, so I think it'd be a, you know, I don't think that should scare anybody off. I think Friday, Saturday will be fine, and I think we'll have enough time to get home. You know, if you live within a, you know, seven, eight hour, you know, distance of our tradery, I think you'll be fine this year. Uh, I think you're going to be fine. It's just ironic that, you know, you, you got, you got about a 24 hour, you know, to the right side of this storm. So you're going to be fine. I think it's going to be a good event. The weather's not going to be a problem this year. Yeah. Yeah. I think so too. We, I've had a lot of, uh, 
a lot of people reach out that are or have asked questions this year coming out uh, that are not, you know, table renters. Historically, we have a pretty good, you know, uh, in, I guess you call it door traffic, uh, people, you know, who don't have tables. We usually average, you know, between 100 and 200 people that ha- don't have a table through the doors on Friday and Saturday night. So, you know, uh, a lot of the traders, you know, that, that's something, we, you know, in the business we struggle with. But this tradery in particular has been very well attended uh, in, in the past. And so uh, we're hoping for a big turnout again and, and looking forward to it. That's great, Matt. Well, thanks very much for sharing that information with us. Again, if anyone wants to get a copy of Matt's Trader Reflyer or any other ones, I've got a Trader Re calendar set up on scoutpatchcollectors.com. You can go there. There's a link at the top and click on that, and you'll find a, a download of that Trader Reflyer and many more. Matt, thanks again. I hope to see you on Friday. I'm looking forward to a good Trader Re. All right. Sounds good, Jason, and thank you uh, for everything that you do.